My unit was entitled Improving Proportional Reasoning Equals Improving High School Math Success. And it was uh, through Roger's seminar, Transitions in the Conception of Number, from Whole Numbers to Rational Numbers to Algebra. And the basis of that unit was based on the fact that central to any study of mathematics is an understanding of numbers. You have to study numbers. And what we see with children, they just begin intuitively. Before you're in school, before you study mathematics um, at all formally, you, you learn how to count. You know numbers. You know whole numbers. But as we begin our formal math education, we move into fractions, and we have rational numbers, and we move into algebra. There's sticking points, and one of those is fractions. Very common for kids to go, okay, I'm not a math person at that point. Also, when we hit algebra, that's another one of those points. So the question that Roger was kind of posing was, what's the disconnect? Why don't we see numbers and mathematics as a whole? Because the way we treat whole numbers is the same way we should treat fractions in any kind of rational number. All the rules of arithmetic apply the same way. And then if we take that into algebra, all of those rules still apply, but there's a disconnect somewhere. And so what intrigued me about this was that I teach um, all of the geometry at my site, and my kids come in with, they just struggle, they have so many gaps. And uh, this idea of like, where are those gaps? It's the lack of number sense. So I was intrigued by the seminar. I'd been looked at Yale several times before and not found a seminar that I thought would serve my students. And this one caught my attention. And kind of this, the, when I pulled away from Roger's description, this is what we were looking at, is how to successfully transition to the next stage. Students have to change what their conception of a number is. So my unit, after doing some research and being in the seminar a little bit, kind of boiled down to the goal of when students finished the unit, I wanted them to have increased both their number sense and their ability to reason proportionally. And as I looked at that, what those content objectives ended up being was using the number line to increase number sense. We spent hours and hours with the number line in our seminar, and I talked to one of my adult kids, you know, in the evening after being here all day in the summer, and I'm like, what'd you do today? And I'm like, we spent two hours with the number line, and it was so fascinating. And they're like, okay, mom, <laughs> you just, you do you. Um, so, so I'm okay, glad you're happy. Um, but it was fascinating, and it made me think a different way. And then that, if I could increase their number sense, that's necessary to have strong proportional reasoning. And my research kept leading me back to this idea that K through eight, the capstone of K through eight math education is a strong understanding of proportional reasoning. And in geometry, you have to have that. And to be successful in high school math and science, you have to have strong proportional reasoning. So that's where my focus ended up being. I'm a, a big believer in the opportunity myth, so I don't really believe in a lot of remediation. I think my students need and deserve grade level rigorous instruction, and then we fill the gaps as we go. But this, I took this remedial approach, clearly a remedial approach, before we started our geometry education. And I was not sure how that would work, and it's been, um, it's been good. It, it was, a, I think, a good choice. I think there was a lot of growth there. Um, I leaned on the teaching strategies that I use in class every day, use of thinking tasks, if you're familiar with Building Thinking Classrooms by Peter Lilligel, those that's um, setting up students to work in groups before you ever like introduce anything about a concept formally. You give them an opportunity to just dive into it and see what they know and pull on previous knowledge. So we usually start any deep concept with that. We do a lot of collaborative group work and we notice and wonder about the work we're doing and try to discover the algorithm, discover the rule before we like formalize it and teach it. Our standards, the Oklahoma standards, because it's remedial, is a sixth grade standard and a seventh grade standard is really focusing on using ratios and fractions in real world and mathematical problems. See the seventh grade standard again, and then the district standards are worded a little bit differently, but basically fo focus on ratios and proportions and the number system. So student response. That was the most interesting thing to me. I have not, we haven't uh, taught similarity yet, and that's where I anticipate the biggest gain, that we will be much more efficient in our time and students will be much more confident as we dig into the concept of similarity because proportional reasoning is so inherent in that. 
But what surprised me was we start geometry, it's foreign to most students, they've had middle school geometry, they're resistant the first couple weeks of school to learning and to being back in the classroom, at least my student population is. And I start diving into these concepts. They're like, no, 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 no. I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it. <laughs> and I'm like, you can get this. And they don't believe me because we don't, we're not there yet where they trust me. So starting with this, even my students who are the most resistant or have the most chronic absenteeism were able to come in and they're like, oh, it's fractions. Oh, I don't like fractions, but, but I can try fractions. Like it wasn't foreign. So that was a surprise to me. And I think a really, really good way to ease into the school year um, and hopefully the payoff in using those days there will pay off as we move forward. Um, so that was a surprise to me. The other thing that was a surprise to me was I hadn't thought about teaching, um, finding the, when we treat finding the, uh, dividing, partitioning a segment, a directed line segment using a ratio. It's just something we teach in geometry early on. It's always a struggle. It was like a piece of cake this year compared to how it usually was. And that wasn't one of the concepts I really had thought about because we were able to make a, con a connection between fractions on a number line and how many parts you have in that whole, and like the whole unit, what a unit is, with that line segment you're partitioning by using a ratio. So that was beautiful to make that much easier to teach. Um, and then, you know, I'm optimistic about similarity being more efficient, but at the end of the day, we reflect at the end of every unit in my class about the learning. And it usually takes about the third or fourth unit before students really understand, like, how to write that down or how to speak that to me in a video. Like, what did I really learn and how do I know I learned it? are the questions I ask them. And we go through like, where could you see that if you don't remember? Where in your notes would you find that? What are the th things we're trying to learn? And this first unit, when we did those reflections, they had a lot of, you know, most of the students had something concrete to say that they could identify they learned and they could tell me how they knew they learned it. So that was a huge win for me. That's me. Okay, thank you.